Hello, wrestling fans. How are you? Here and what happened on Friday Night SmackDown main event for Friday, March 29th, 2024. Happy Easter, everyone out there around the world. Hope everybody have a good Easter weekend. Uh, the opening match for SmackDown was Randy Orton and Kevin Owens against Pretty Deadly. I like this because Randy Orton starts off the show. And you don't have to deal with his shit later on. Like in the main event often. Bow rank. Owens started punching away on Kip. Orton started punching away on Prince in the corner. Then Kip pulled on Randy Orton out of the ring. Ran him face first to the steel ring post. The Prince back by dropped Orton on the announce table. While they double teaming Orton outside on top of the announce table. Owens was getting up and getting knocked down by Kip. Logan Paul suddenly ran in. Brass knuckle shot right to Kevin Owens. Ran on the ring. Um, Prince saw what happened. Ran in the ring. Pinned Kevin Owens for the fast win. Out of the match. Randy Orton's like, what the hell happened? Checking on Kevin Owens. Owens said, hey, Logan Paul showed up. Hit me with brass knuckles, but the son of a bitch is underneath the ring. He's underneath the ring. So they all went different sides underneath the ring. Orton got hold of Logan Paul and just beat the shit out of him. Logan Paul ran up the stage. Kevin Owens blocked his way. So Logan Paul jumped into the fans. Randy Orton was there to meet him. Then Orton slowly stalked him backstage. Orton is getting too old to keep and run to catch up to Logan Paul. Logan Paul was easily got away in a car. I am hoping at WrestleMania, Kevin Owens or Logan Paul wins the match, not Randy Orton. Next up, there was LWO versus LWO meeting. The factions are talking. Rey Mysterio is like, I want to challenge you guys to a tag match. Senses Escobar is now, well, hold on. He said before, well, we accept, he said, Dominic Mysterio came out from Judgment Day. It looks like Dominic Mysterio is joining the LWO, it looks like. So Santos says, how about me and Dominic take on you and Kalito? Or you and Del Tolo, you and Cruz Joaquin Wilde there. He even laughs over Selena Vega. And Ray Mysterio says, or you can face me and the newest member of the good guys LWO, Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee came out in the faces, attacked the heels, and they whooped the flu mat with them. Just cleaned house. Um, then Humberto and Gaza had to stay in the ring because they had a match against Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate coming up where the winning team will go on to join the latter match for the Tag Team Championships. Bow rang. Pete Dunne hit a running clothesline. Tyler Bate just snapped German suplexed. Um, Humberto. They double team as Gary kicks on Angel Gaza. Um, all over the place. Tyler Bate had a top rope uppercut on Humberto. Her Karana Gaza to the outside of the ring. Then her Karana Herberto to the outside of the ring. And he went for a top rope moonsault to the outside. Pete Dunn's like, hold on a second. He just wanted his Gary kick Angel Gaza. That was hilarious. Then Todd Bate delivered the moonsault to the outside. Knocked down Herberto and Gaza. Finally, Herberto and Gaza got the offense going. Isolated Tyler Bate. Beat the crap out of him in the corner. Delivered that awesome double team body slam off the top rope. Then Herberto picked him up and sit down. Power bombed him. And held on to him, so guys are gonna jump off the ropes for a moonsault. Tyler, Pete Dunn made the save. Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate deliver a burning hammer on Herberto for the 1 2 3, so they go on to the ladder match. Next up, Street Profits against Grayson Wall and Austin Fury for the final spot in the Tag Team Championship ladder match. Before the match, Bobby Lashley, the defend backstage in the locker room, the Pride locker room, and they tell the Profits, You got this. You got this. And the Prophets got these awesome looking like purple white attires, like metallic looking cars, amazing attires. Bow rang. This was funny. <laughs> Ford smoked Austin Fury right in the face. And he's like, that's how you punch someone. He turned around, and Grace Wall just floored his ass with a right hand. Then during the match, um, Dawkins ran outside the ring to that running shoulder tackle. Grace on Wall went flying over that announce table, folks. Landed on the lap of Corey Graves. That was awesome. Um, Austin Fury went to do a barrel roll into either the drop up drop kick or the blockbuster. Dawkins caught him, sit down, power bomb. Montez Ford tagged down, quickly went up for the top rope and fog splash. Suddenly, on the Titan Tron, it shows Bobby Lashley and found laid out in the prize locker room, carrying cross. I'm, <coughs> I'm sorry, Adam Cole's dad there, because he looks just like Adam Cole. And Scott, they were leaving. That caused a distraction. Dawkins wanted to go backstage check on his teammates. Montez Ford went to win the match with the Frog Splash, but due to the time delay, 
Austin Theory was able to get his knees up. Wall up, one, two, three. Great small. Austin Theory quickly won the match. After the match, AOP attacked through the fans. Bob Lashley ran out. Karen Cross clotheslined him from behind quickly. And then AOP delivered the super collider power bombs on the Prophets. And then Karen Cross got on the mic and said, We ain't going to WrestleMania. You ain't going to WrestleMania. And they left. The main event, Bianca Belair against Dakota Kai of Damage Control. Now, before the match, Bianca approached Naomi in the locker room. She said, look, I get it. Bailey's good, gone good now. She doesn't deserve to get a butt kicked four on one from Damage Control. So, I'll help Bailey out and help you out. And then it's like, where is Bailey? Anyways, then it shows the EO Sky delivering her interview segment, talking about her match against Bailey for WrestleMania. All of a sudden, Bailey, um, Bailey attacked the US Sky, smashed her into the interview set equipment, beat her up, and I mean, just thrown haymakers, ground and pound attack. Officials finally separated Bailey, so it's nice seeing Bailey finally get a measure of revenge on EO Sky. So, Bianca came out by herself. She asked Nainomi to stay in the back in case Damage Control would run out to make the save or cause a distraction, and you're there to stop them. So Dakota Kai came out by herself. I noticed that. Cause probably Oscar Carver Shane checking on Neil Scott. Bow rang. Bianca repeatedly um, snapped suplexed her, repeatedly tossed her halfway across the ring. Face slammed her down. Dakota Kai finally ended Bianca Bauer's offense by sending her face first to the ring post. Then Sunset flipped her into the corner. Then had an awesome scorpion kick, running knee to the face. Then she grabbed a hold of Bianca's hair twice and tried to pull her. Bianca countered it, went for the KOD driver. Dakota Kai countered that. Bianca quickly grabbed a hold of her. KOD driver. One, two, three, your winner, Bianca Barrier. Now I noticed, I think she was supposed to win by disqualification because Oscar Kawa Shane ran into the ring, but they slipped going in. So that free, I like, stopped and then countered the free. So I think they are supposed to get like, a disqualification win to Bianca. They attacked Bianca. Nainomi ran out. She was late. She didn't stop him in the back. See, Nainomi came to do the simple job Bianca Bear asked her to do. She ran in and she did the same thing Bianca did last week. She started cleaning house. They focused on one member of Damage Control. The numbers getting caught up to him. Free on two beat down until Jay Kajo made her debut. She came in. She bicycle kicked Oscar right in the face. Top popped up power bomb Dakota Kai. And then she laid over Oscar. I did like the Nikki Lyons pose to end the show. I'm like, what the hell is that? And Wade Barrett said, Well, I've never seen anyone do a power bomb like that. Apparently, he's never seen Kevin Owens do it. Because Kevin Owens is the one who's been doing it before in Cade Gargio. Announced as soon as SmackDown went off the air at WrestleMania, it's going to be Jade Gargio, Bianca Bauer, and I know me against Oscar, Kyle Shane, Dakota Kai, and 6 1 tag at WrestleMania. Also, next, next week on SmackDown, Action Pack Show, we're going to have Selena Vega of the LWO versus Electra Lopez of the LWO to continue that rivalry. Hopefully, Selena Vega wins because the faces need a win. And it's nice seeing the faces get the brawl, but they need a win. Also, Judgment Day approached Dominic backstage after the brawl between the LWO factions. He's like, what, what are you doing? Leave it us? He's like, no, 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 mommy. I'm just helping him out against my dad, you know, teach him a lesson. And uh, Judgment Day was pissed off that Dominic, two weeks now, has been dealing with the LWO and not them. And Finn Bow was like, we got to keep an eye on him. And Ray Ripley's like, I know there's something's going on. And him and Dominic JD left. And Damian Priest, well, I'm worried about losing those tag team titles. Because we got to deal with five tag teams. And then Ray Ripley's like, well, you got the briefcase. Hinting that if you lose, just cash in, win them back. And Damian Priest was kind of hesitant on that. And time's running out. He's Because the next pay-per-view after this is Money in the Bank. So he's got to cash in eventually. He's only got two months left to do it. So I read online. I hope it doesn't happen. I hope he don't cash in on Cody Rhodes or Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. Like, have them have the moment and maybe cash in on the Raw or SmackDown after WrestleMania. Um, also, on SmackDown, AJ Styles asked Nick Dawes, like, hey, is Ellie Knight here? Nick Dawes said, no, he's at a live event. So, AJ Styles went out of the ring, started trash-talking Ellie Knight. Ellie Knight was disguised as, uh, 
member of the staff attacked AJ Styles until he got a hold of a steel chair that AJ took off of the fans. And now when I said WrestleMania, I'm going to whoop your ass. Yeah. I can't wait for that match. That match is going to steal the show, I think. Um, also on SmackDown, like I said, we got Selena Vega, Lecture Lopez, LWO vs. LWO feud going on there. We got Soto Sokoa is going to face Jay Uso. Um, we've got Ty the Bait and Pete Dunne versus Grayson Waller, Austin Theory. And the Andre the Giant, and remember Battle Royal, is happening on SmackDown again. They did a hardy show who's in the Battle Royal, which I liked. Because I like it not knowing who's in it. I like seeing like the surprise entrance of the Battle Royal. Um, I'm thinking this year, I'd love for it to be Braun Breaker. Have Braun Breaker win that Battle Royal. That'd be an awesome moment for him. For his career, even though they do do nothing with it, but it'd be a good, you know, like a thing to add to his resume. And uh, Kevin Owens and Logan uh, Randy Orton have a talk show Kevin Owens segment there. A uh, main event, main event was off the charts this week. Shayna Baszler against Katana Chance with Kata Carter's always starts ringside. Now, Katana Chance came off the ropes and Shayna Baszler moved out of the way, so Katana Chance landed on her ass. Then she bounced off the ropes and landed on her ass again. I think Shannon Baszler missed the move there. Katana Chance legs swooped down, bounced off the ropes, moonsaw. Um, had a run in Shining Wizard all over Shannon Baszler. And Shannon Baszler did that signature arm stomp, applied an arm submission. Katana Chance got out of it, um, got a hold of rope break. And then Shannon Baszler had her up on the top rope and had the Kajiji Clouds Choco locked on. Katana Chance, this was awesome, was able to flip over, flip around, her Karana, Shane Baszler, off that top rope, and not once did she slip off the ropes doing that. That was amazing. Then Zoe Starks, Kane and Carter got into an argument outside the ring. Katana Chance backed up, hit a run and drop kick, knocked down Zoe Starks. I allowed Shane Baszler to sneak up behind. Kojiji Klotz, Choco, your winner by submission, Shane Baszler. The other match on main event is must see. It's Hank or it's Hank and Tank against Malachi and Doofus NXT action. All, all match double team moves. That was it. It was awesome. Hank and Tank did a double team shoulder tackle. Swanton drop on Doofus. Malachi and Doofus delivered a double team face slam on Tank. Then stereo drop kicks knocked him back down. Hank and Tank delivered a double team running splash sandwich on Malachi. Kind of like the Teenage Mutant News Tales who do with the Foot Clan when they run and like jump back to back with the shells. Well, they did that kind of like same maneuver there. Malachi Dubas did stereo moves off the ropes to the outside, took down Hank and Tank. Hank ran in and just mowed down Malik. Um, they picked him up. This was awesome. And tossed him to Tank. Tank caught him. Sidewalk slammed him down. He picked him up. Tossed him to Hank. Hank picked him up, slammed him down. Hank and Tank picked up the win with a double team move. It was like a double team running, like, I think it's supposed to make a running shoulder tackle jackhammer. It didn't kind of connect all that good, but they picked up the win. They finally won a match. Amazing match. Check it out on the main event this week, folks. Both matches were good. On SmackDown, definitely, you got to check out Dakota Kai and Bianca Bauer, the main event. And definitely got to check out Tyler Bay and Pete Dunne against Alberto and Gaza. Amazing tag match there. The other two matches were over quickly due to storyline. Um, also, at WrestleMania, they announced the other match, which, oh, yes, it's Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee. I checked online that is made official against Central's Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. What's going to happen there? Is Dominic going out and joining the LWO so Andrade Cien is going to move in and join the Judgment Day? Or is Dominic doing this, I'm thinking, to try to get Herberto and Gaza, now that they're in the latter match, to help Damien and Finn Balor so like maybe one of them can win and not one of the four face teams. Um, there you have it, folks. Let me know below who you like to see win the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal next week. Who you like to see win the latter match of WrestleMania for the Tag Team Championships. I'll love for it to be the Miz and R-Troop. Those guys deserve a title run. Because they're both amazing talents. The other teams have had the opportunities. I'd like to see a Miz and R-Truth win it. Or have Damian Priest and Finn Balor retain it. That'd be a shocker. Um, do you want to see Logan Paul, Kevin Owens as United States Champion? Or would you like to see Randy Orton? 
Eddie Poe online. Orton is like the least favorite to win that match. I hope he doesn't win it over like RKO out of nowhere. Kevin Owens is hard working. He deserves that win. Logan Paul, I gotta admit it, he's a part timer. But he's defended the tall a lot more than Roman Reigns has, so he deserves that win as well. There we have it, folks. Stay safe, everybody, too. So we bye.